Let's get crazy. Like a hot knife through butter. You really don't need to watch the rest of the video. Just buy it. It works. Hello and welcome to Challenge the Build. If you are watching this video, then you are probably in the market to purchase a plasma cutter. And in this video, I'm going to do my best to give you the information that you're looking for in order to make a informed purchase decision. Starting with the unboxing portion of this video followed by machine setup and then ultimately we will be cutting some material. This plasma cutter is Best Arc's third generation of this machine. I also have to state that Best, Best Arc did send this to me at no cost for uh, me to do a review on. And starting with pulling the machine out of the box, the first thing that I notice is the overall size of this machine. This is an extremely small, compact machine. The overall dimensions is approximately 18 inches by 12 inches and a little less than seven inches wide. So it's extremely compact, which makes it um, nice for uh, keeping on the workbench, tool cart, or simply just putting on the shelf when you are not using it. The coloring's nice too, by the way. What else do we have? So, in all my videos, I always urge and recommend that you take a few minutes to page through the user manual. Uh, this is going to give you the best uh, foot forward on learning how to use and properly maintain uh, the equipment that you purchase and or use in regards to any equipment, not just the plasma cutter. Next up out of the box is we have a few consumables, some Teflon tape, a couple hose clamps in there. They do give you an adapter. This is a 220 volt or 110 volt machine. So it's that multi-volt system, uh, which they give you the adapter there, depending on what plug you plan on using. The ground cable and just your standard clamp. The wire is of the lighter gauge. I would say that's probably like an eight gauge. What does it say? 10 millimeter. So I'm saying eight gauge. So it's a little light. The plug definitely is a little bit light, but this machine is rated at 50 amps, which Gives you the ability to cut a chunk of metal like this, which is how we're going to test this machine. This is a uh, half inch uh, mild steel plate. Also in the box, we have the torch assembly. Pretty basic, got your safety. And this is a pilot arc machine. They give you a approximately a 12 foot torch lead followed by an air hose. If you wanna do a direct connection to whatever air source you are using, they state for air compressor, air consumption on 110 volts, anywhere between 20 to 40 PSI, and then on 220 volts, anywhere between 30 to 60 PSI. And we'll kind of go over that uh, as I continue to go through this video. So. That is basically what is in the box. Now what I'm gonna do is get this thing set up, go through the setup process, and then cut some material. All right, so with the setup, like I said, it's important to kind of refer to the user manual. There are also some other um, specifications that I figured I would kind of point out uh, while reading this, the duty cycle on this machine is 60%. So that means you can cut. Um, it's kind of set up similar to the welding duty cycle. So 60% duty cycle means you can cut for six minutes out of 10. Clean cutting thickness, 12 millimeters is what we specified earlier. 
approximately a half inch. They say that the sever cutting thickness is 16 millimeters. The cutting speed is 200 millimeters, and this was all on 220 volts. At 110 volts, the capacity is 10 millimeters, uh, clean cut, the sever is 12 millimeters, and then the cutting speed is 150 millimeters. So some little bit of uh, information regarding the output duty cycle and cutting speeds. And with that, let's get this thing set up. Won't need them. Won't need consumables so that can sit aside. So starting with the ground clamp, cut the zip tie off. And the ground clamp can only really go in one location, which is here specified by the little grounding clamp. So it kind of makes it super easy to figure out how to do this. So the ground clamp is there. Follow that with the torch. Remove the plastic cover on the threads. Easy enough. Install the gas hose, which is basically just the air hose. The followed by the positive connection on the pilot arc, then the trigger, which the cannon plug can only go in one way. And that basically concludes the setup. I will grab an adjustable wrench. I will snug down this compression fitting here on the front and for the initial fire up, I'm going to use 110 volts just to turn it on. So using the adapter and 110 volts, plug it in and let's just turn it on, see what we get. And here we go. There it is. You can see the green LED indicating that it's 110 volts and that the fan is working. Uh, there is an arrow button here that specifies air and cut. If you switch it over to air, it's all that is, is going to verify whether or not you have airflow to the machine. Also, 2T and 4T gives you the touch option. So 2T is your traditional trigger. You push and hold. You cut through your material, and then when you're done, you release, stating 2T. 4T would be you push, let go of the trigger, make your cut. This is for longer cuts. As you're making your cut, you come to the end. Once you get to the end, you hit the trigger, and then release, and then that cuts the cutting current. We will experiment with this here in just a minute. And then PT, which is for adjusting the post flow of the air when you are cutting. So you can dial it in as far as seconds, depending on how much air pressure you want after you make the cut. So again, we will play with all that uh, here in just a second. I just wanted to go over the basic, uh, you know, turn it on, figure out what all these buttons do, and now we're gonna cut some material. So I am getting ready to go ahead and do some cutting with this thing. On the back of the plasma cutter where the air fitting is, there is a nice oil and water separator right here on the back with an easy way to drain it. You just push on the button and that'll purge that if there's any contaminants in there. For my um, site protection, I have this Weld Samurai face shield with the drop down shade five um, UV protector here in the front. So that is gonna be my face shield. Still gonna wear my welding gloves. You can hear my air compressor running in the back. I am using a 30 gallon Husky two stage air compressor. We already went through the machine setup. I am going to attempt to cut quarter inch plate 
on 110 volts. So we are going to crank this up to 35 amps. We are going to test the air. Oh, I guess it would help if I turned up my regulator. The regulator here on the front is how to adjust the air pressure depending on your thickness. I'm going to go to 30, 40, 50 PSI, and that's the cut air switch to verify your pressure. Cut, push that in, 35 amps. My table's grounded, and I'm going to go ahead and attempt the first cut with the best arc plasma cutter. Quarter inch, 35 amps, 110 volts, here we go. Very impressed, very clean cut, and other than the rate of travel, which is expected to be a little bit slower. Um, very impressive. We need more power. All right, 220 volts coming online. Okay, now we can go all the way up to 50 amps. I'm going to go up to I'm just going to crank it up a little bit. I'm not going to max it out. I'm going to go to 40 amps air pressure. Let's see what the difference is cutting quarter inch plate. Here we go. Nice clean cut a little bit faster. So very, very cool. Um, I am using this in the 2T function. As I'm using it, I'm pushing the trigger, holding the trigger through the entire cut, and then releasing once I get to the end. What I'm going to do is switch this. Oh, I'm going to switch it over to the 4T, show you how that works. But the PT option uh, is the post flow. Right now it's preset to three seconds, so the air will flow for three seconds after the cut. It gives you the ability to go all the way to a maximum of 15 seconds. So if you are making a really long cut or cutting through really thick material after the length of the cut, it may be wise to let the post flow air run for longer. This way here it keeps the tip nice and cool. So we're going to come down here. We're going to run that to five and then switch it to 4T. So now the 4T option, I'm going to push. The plasma arc will stay running. I'm going to make my cut. Once I get to the end, I'm going to push it again and shut it off. So let's try that. A little bit longer cut. Plasma on. Nope. Plasma off. It's definitely working as it should. Now for what everybody is probably wondering, will it cut half inch material? If it can cut quarter inch, cutting eighth inch is kind of not a worry. Now cutting half inch material, we are going to crank this thing up. It's gonna run it at 2T. We are gonna increase the pressure up to 60. And here we go. Half inch material, 220 volts, 50 amps. Let's get crazy.
So you just watched me make one, two, three, four, five. I just made five cuts at 50 amps using 220 voltage on a piece of mild steel half inch plate. And while the cuts are not 100% perfect, considering that I just took this out of the box with very little time, made five very clean cuts through half inch material in a matter of seconds, should show you just how simple and good the plasma cutter works. Something that amazes me in all of the equipment that I've been using over the last few years is the technology in this budget equipment. And when I classify budget, I mean anything under $500 or less. The budget equipment is, is just amazing. Um, it's really starting to compete with the bigger name brands. And if you are a do-it-yourself kind of project enthusiast like I am, you really don't need to go out and spend the big money on professional equipment if you're not doing it professionally uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. If this is gonna be something that you use um, throughout you know, different projects in your home, in the garage, whatever it may be, uh, this is a really great option uh, for a plasma cutter that is capable of cutting half inch material. So hopefully that has answered some of your questions. I do these reviews straight out of the box. There is no prep. I have not used this machine previously. This is the first time I saw it. This is the first time that I used it and successfully am cutting half inch plate. So if I can do it, I think you can do it too. So that concludes this review. Thanks for watching. All that's left for you to do is get out there and go challenge your build. You may want to buy a plasma cutter. This one is this one uh, surprised even me. So thanks again for watching. I will see you in an upcoming video and or review.